Hey, welcome back. I am going to be doing another Aspen walking stick. Uh, I got three of them that are going to New Mexico and one that's going to North Carolina. So, I am going to, uh, I got the one here that I'm going to do. I got to get it sanded down. I got the, where the little limbs were, I got them taken down. But I got to sand it all down now. I start out with, with 80 grit and then I go to my sanding sponges. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you any of the, the sanding. Everybody knows how to sand and how I sand and so I'm just going to sand it, come back and uh, show you what I've done and then start a design. So, come back to you, I'm going to get a little bit more done. Well, I got the electric sanding done. I got the heaviest part off. Now I'm going to go over it with, like I said, the sponge sanding blocks. I like them. Uh, basically because they kind of form around the, the stick and don't leave a flat spot like the electric does. But, uh, and again, uh, you've seen me do it, so I'm not going to sit here and sand a bunch for you because the design I'm going to put on this is going to be a little, a little different. I uh, started a, a different Aspen walking stick for this gal, and uh, the design I put on it was not, I, I couldn't get it done, put it that way. And it, uh, I, I hope I didn't ruin the whole stick because I did get some spots where it was, I cut it kind of deep, but just I, I couldn't get it to turn out. So I'm hoping that I can sand that all off and you're gonna have to, have to grind it a little bit to get it down. But, uh, it, it's, I'll be able to use it for something. I don't know why, but I'll be able to use it for something. So anyway, I am going to uh, shut the camera off again for now and uh, go over it with my sponge sanders and then I will come back to you. And it is windy. I'm hoping it's not affecting the camera too much, the sound, but I'll bet it is. I just thought of it now. And I didn't put my cover on it and I don't know why I forgot that so anyway I'll be back to you in a little bit okay I've got it down pretty good now uh, I got to thinking a, a lot of work goes into these walking sticks um, especially if you if, if they're not a machine walking stick. Um, first you got there go some of our motorcycles. But first you got to pick the, the stick that you want to make and I, I, I love Aspen so I choose that. Then you got to take it down to a good finish and I even after I'm done sanding I go over it with my magnifying lenses to see if there's any of the swirls left from the sander. Because if you don't get the swirls out, when you stain it with anything, any, any kind of a darker stain, uh, those little swirls stand out like a sore thumb. I mean, they're just really, really bad. Let's keep myself up here a little bit. But then, uh, you know, I, I go through that with the magnifying lenses and make sure that I, I get all the the swirls out of it and then you have to pick out the, the pattern you want to put on it and then you have to put the pattern on it uh, and then you have to do all the, the cutting out of it and getting that right and sanding that down and getting that smooth uh, I, I was really kind of shocked at, at 
once I got to thinking about it, how much uh, work there is that goes into one of these steaks. They're just not a, uh, a two-hour deal and you're done with them. So, uh, I don't know, I just, I just happened to think of that. And I just happened to see that uh, I missed a little swirl up here, so I did that. But anyway, I will end this part of it. And I'm going to go, I'm outside because of the sanding. Then I'm going to go in, in the shop and uh, put the pattern on here that I want. I'm hoping that this one will go because I kind of goofed up the other one. So I'm hoping that I can get this one to work. So see you in the shop. Well, I got uh, the design put in. As you can see it's kind of a, I hope you can see it, it's kind of a barber pole type effect. I have three three rings top, three rings in the bottom. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that would be, will be something that will turn out nice. But uh, the only way you're going to know is to try it, I guess. Um, that's about all. I'm going to go over it now with my... I made what they, I call a, a stop cut and that's the knife straight up and down and then I'm going to go in and make a little just a little trough that the uh, diamond bits will will follow uh, hopefully they'll follow <laughs> they did on the on the big aspen or the uh, basswood so I'm hoping it'll it'll do the same for this so anyway I'm going to start doing that and uh, a little bit I'll probably come back and let you see me do a little bit of that cutting to get the, the little groove in so hang in there with me okay here we go doing the little stop cuts not really too interesting but it's something anyway Well, like I said earlier, let me get the camera up here. Oh, that's hard on the back. I actually should find a better way of getting it up here a little bit more. So it's you know, a little bit more of my height. Uh, I got it cut so I can start with the diamond stones. I'm just anxious to see how it's going to turn out. Like I said, it uh, maybe it doesn't everybody, but me it, it takes me quite a while to do a, a stick. My wife says I'm a perfectionist, and I guess I am. It has to be just so, or I, 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 don't, I don't do it, or I don't uh, pass it on to the customer, or whatever. Um, just, I guess, like 
checking for little swirls. I just saw some down here. <laughs> but uh, I'll check it again once it's all done. And it gets sanded again. And I'll go down to 320 on the sanding. Um, I guess I should look at the camera more. Kind of done looking at this thing and talking to you guys. Um, I just uh, want everybody to know that I, uh, I, I really enjoy doing this stuff. Uh, I don't care how long it takes me. Uh, if, me, if I got paid by the hour, uh, these sticks would be really expensive. But um, I, I do it because I love it. As long as I can get a little more than what I've got in it, out of it, um, I'll be happy as a lark, I'll tell you. Anyway, I'm going to shut everything down for today. I'm going to go in the house and relax in a little bit more comfortable chair. Um, and I'll probably come back out tomorrow to, to do some of the grinding, I guess you would call with the diamond, diamond bits. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, I'm back today to work on the Aspen walking stick, uh, the one that I got the design carved into on the last one, last video. Uh, I'm in my shop. I really don't like being here because I'm going to be grinding with, uh, with my Dremel. Um, I don't like doing it in my shop. My shop is so small, but it is so hot and humid outside. I just cannot uh, sit out there. It, uh, uh, the humidity and when it's so awful hot, it makes it hard for me to breathe. So. I sit in here, I have my my dust mask right here, I got the good ones, and uh, I cover everything up that uh, needs to be covered up, but uh, it's, um, it, it's just kind of a pain to have to do this in here because I have to take an air, my air, and, and uh, open the door and have the fan running and spray everything off with air to get all the dust out of here and it's just a, a, a pain just a pain but uh, to keep working which I want to do on these things I, I have to do whatever I have to do to do it so what I'm going to do is get the camera set up get everything on and we will start uh, grinding with the, the uh, coarse yeah, put the coarse one back in. There's the coarse diamond. And uh, get that done and, and I'll video as much of it as I can. And uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, let me get everything off here and get the camera sit back up here. All right, camera's low, but that was the first part of it. it um, it come out pretty good, I guess, for the for just winding down the first part. Second part is going over it with the, the fine diamond and uh, kind of straightening things out because I just did it one time so it's just it's got little bumps and stuff in it yet that can be straightened out. 
Um, so, I'm going to change into the other one, my fine one. See how we can get everything done with that. So let me get the camera set back down again, and uh, we'll go through with this. I think it's going to work out all right. I do. So be back, Jen and Jeff. Well, I think you kind of get the gist here. Let me get my stuff off here. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> okay, I believe you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Um, I can tell I need a new fine diamond. Uh, I've used this on, on rock, so I think I kind of wore it out. But, uh, but, uh, they're, they last a long time. But anyway, uh, you can, you've all seen what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do the rest of it off camera because it's just a long, long, long time of getting this stuff done. And I don't want to bore people to death. But anyway, uh, thank you for putting up with me here, and, and I'll get back to you when I get uh, get this completed. And uh, be back into Jeff. Okay, I have gone over this several times now with the Dremel. I love that Dremel. But anyway, uh, now comes the hand sanding. I do go in here with uh, sandpaper and uh, something like a drill bit sand that out and then I use the the sponge and I do the edges I, I sand the edges off with the sanding sponges just slightly just enough to get the the fuzz there's a little fuzz on the edges just enough to get that off get it smoothed down and then uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do after that but anyway this is enough for this video I got a feeling so I'm going to let you go um, this is, I don't know if you can see this or not let me camera down here that's uh, I think it'll turn out all right so, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.